Police say he was on a mission to kill. This morning, we have new information about the threats that a man was accused of making against a church in Northern Virginia. Police say the man was armed with a loaded gun and had extra ammunition when he was arrested in Prince William County. Our Jess Arnold joins us live from that church that was targeted. It's the Park Valley Church in Haymarket. Uh, Jess, police say that man actually made it into the sanctuary. Oh yeah, he was in there for a little bit before police apprehended him, basically in the doorway of this church. Now he's being charged with threats of bodily harm as well as carrying a dangerous weapon into a place of religious worship. And some Fairfax County police sources had been telling us that they believe federal charges may be on the table as well. And the man in question is 35 year old Ru Yang. You can see his picture there. And we're going to bring up his social media account. Sources tell us that posts like this are what set off the initial alarm bells. He calls one video a Bible burning and shows various photos of Park Valley Church. Now, in one caption, he writes, Welcome to Park Valley Church, attended by many top-secret government clearance holders. Another post shows him pointing a gun at a screen with a church on it, writing, My loyalty was never appreciated, as he claims he worked for the government. Now, at around 7.40 Sunday morning, Anne Arundel Police got a call about these posts and immediately contacted Fairfax County Police. They then rushed to his home at Skyline Towers in Bailey's Crossroads, but found no sign of him there. So Fairfax County Police reached out to Prince William County Police, who at 10 a.m. found him at the church in Haymarket, dressed in black and wearing sunglasses with a loaded semi-automatic pistol and additional magazine. And at the time, the church had about a thousand people inside for service. Police did arrest Jang there, as we've said, and he's currently being held without bond. Now, when police got a warrant for his home, they found a kill manifesto that they called disturbing. And the pastor here is grateful to all three police departments, as well as their own church safety team. For 20 years, God has protected us. And this is an example of that, you know, in HD for sure. Um, you know, I'm so thankful to God. I'm also thankful to, for our safety team. Our safety team noticed him long before Prince William County had said anything to us. They were on it, but we didn't know it at the time. Yeah, and Pastor Barry White said they noticed him acting suspiciously and were monitoring him throughout. There was actually an off-duty officer that had been stationed here that was keeping tabs on him as well before police had shown up. Now, Park Valley Church is actually celebrating their 20-year anniversary on Sunday, which the pastor says they are grateful to be able to do. For Jang's part, though, he's going to be back in court in just a couple of weeks in Prince William County. Guys. And we've seen tragedies unfold in churches before, Jess. Very frightening stuff here. Thank you so much for that.